Welcome to Global Digest. I am Ama Marcus. We're moving a focus over to the African continent, specifically Mozambique, where tensions are escalating as the country eagerly awaits the results of its elections, while the final outcome is expected later this week. But protests have already erupted over allegations of vote rigging and it has cast a shadow over the process. Well, to discuss this further, we are joined by Mr. William Ells. He is a senior training coordinator for ENACT Program Institute for Security Studies. Hello, Mr. William. Thank you for joining the show today. Good afternoon to you. All right. Good afternoon. So it's been quite the wait for the official results since voting took place on the 9th of October with opposition uh, claiming irregularities in the process. So could you walk us through uh, the electoral process in Mozambique? What's it like over there? Okay. Yeah. We should just remember that Mozambique is quite a, a stretched out country. If you look at the distance between uh, Maputo in the south, that is the capital, and for instance, Pemba in the north, that's the capital of the Cabo Delgado province, uh, it's about the same distance from Maputo to, to, to Pemba than from Maputo to Vintuk, right on the other side of the continent in Namibia. So it's quite stretched out. It's a vast country. Uh, logistical problems are there. But also it's a very divided country with the, the, the affluent uh, uh, society and the more affluent people situated in the south and uh, where the other provinces feel that they are being neglected, service delivery, not uh, not what it's supposed to be. And that uh, led to quite a disconnect between the rest of the country and, and Maputo. And that is reflected in, in, in the uh, the elections, uh, the previous elections, we, where we saw that Frulimu, who has been uh, the ruling party uh, since they took over from uh, the, the Portuguese rule in the 70s. And uh, we see that uh, President Inusi, who served two terms, he was from the north. Uh, he was the first president from the north. And uh, so he served his two, pre uh, two terms and he's not allowed to stand for a third term. So that brought about that the very first uh, 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 candidate from for Limu uh, that was pushed push the fall to, 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 uh, to, to stand is Daniel Chapo. And he was actually the first one that was born after independence. So he could not go back and ride on the wave of independence. He had to come up with new uh, uh, incentives for the, especially the younger, uh, 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 the younger uh, electorates who is becoming the the, the majority. Uh, who for them, you know, they they need uh, livelihood, they need jobs, they need uh, economic uh, prosperity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that is something that um, uh, the Frelimu actually failed to bring about. They've been riding on the wave of, 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 of uh, the the insurgency and how they 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 conquered the country and so on. But now for these young people, <laughs> bread and butter stuff is making is, is, it matters. And and I think that is the change in in this one. So we for the first time also. We saw four candidates. Now, Renamu uh, is uh, of the uh, official opposition. They were also the, the, the party that was fighting against uh, 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 Frelimu for, for more than 20 years. And uh, we see that uh, Momade, their, their leader after Lakame died, uh, he's not as vibrant and as powerful as, as Lakame. Lakame was a much stronger leader. So we saw that Renamu actually with it. And uh, when with them, whether we saw the previous election, uh, 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 the MDM started to service. They're more situated in the Baira area. They've got a big support there. Uh, uh, Shimango is there, is their candidate. But for the first time, we saw a young man with the surname of Munglane who, who, who formed the party, uh, Pademos. And he was actually uh, uh, from Renamu. He's very popular with the young people. And he was he was actually ch challenging Mumade from the from Renamu to 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 be their candidate. And when he couldn't become their candidate, he he formed this party. And according to indications before the election, there was a strong possibility that he can gather up to forty five of percent of the the electorate, especially the young people. Mm. So could you give us you know a current assassination of the situation on the ground? On the, on the ground, it's, it's currently very tense. Uh, you, you showed a, a few of, of the clips there where the police is, 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 uh, is not taking any, any, any nonsense from any protesters. They are, are really high-handed in their approach. And they also declared that they're not going to tolerate any, any demonstrations. So we see wherever there's a demonstration, they're coming down very hard on, on, on the protesters. But we also saw that the, the, the parties that are discontent, that are not happy with the outcome, 
Uh, they already planning some new protests across the country. It seems that it's going to spread up north, and uh, and that might be a challenge to the to the ruling party. Okay, so um, let's look at the current issues. Now, what issues are these protesters aiming to address with the protest? Well, in the first place, uh, they they are making allegations of large scale uh, vote rigging and stuffing of boxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Uh, that was also the allegations with the previous election. But it seems that uh, that the dissent of the people uh, just kept growing and growing. Uh, it seems that uh, the problem with uh, with with for limo is, you know, the delivery of the social goods is is not really uh, high on the on the agenda. They uh, the, the the local elite and the, uh, they they are benefiting from uh, fr from the prosperity of the country and the rest of the countries, one of the poorest of the poorest countries in Africa, and they don't have the service delivery that they are supposed to get. And and there's a, a big concern that this one might spill over. Uh, and and that uh, the country might become uh, sort of lawless. Mm. So let's look at the opposition's claims. So they are reporting uh, that they have observed different results. Now, can you explain uh, what they are reporting? Like, wh why are we having disparities in results to the elections? Yeah, in the, in the first place, you know, uh, there's, there are allegations of, 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 of box stuffing. Mm -hmm. where where boxes were delivered and and where 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 votes uh, of people that that were not in the in in the area uh, were were, uh, were voting so there there are allegations of them that many more uh, voters actually voted than were registered in the in, in, for the elections there's a lot of discrepancies that they picked up there and uh, and it seems that uh, that uh, they also got some inside information because of the the supposed uh, uh, transparent uh, counting of the of the of the votes that where they picked up that uh, that there are some irregularities and uh, because of uh, of that we also saw that the european union expressed uh, their concerns about the free and fairness of of the election uh, we saw that sadiq was very uh, 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 cautious when they also uh, discussed uh, the election so it seems to me that there will still be some 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 challenge bef challenges before there will be a peaceful peaceful outcome to this uh, election Hmm. Okay. Still, still looking at the uh, the issues that you know led to the protests so far. We understand that there have been some assassinations in the opposition camp. Well, uh, what details have emerged so far? Have there been you no know, uh, comments from Frelimo's leadership about the assassination? What is the police talking about? What is the police saying? What other details are we expecting to look and hear from this issue? Well, very typical of the of the, the 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 current government. You know, they they're not very vocal. They're not very forthcoming in in condemning or very public about this uh, this assassinations. Uh, the police just said that they are investigating, and uh, and uh, we we see that the two people that were assassinated, uh, the one was the lawyer of Montlani from Podemos, and uh, according to to indica indications, they were busy uh, preparing a, a court documents in order to challenge. The, the the outcome of the elections so so uh, there's a lot of dissent among the people especially the way they died uh, and and uh, it depends how the, the the security forces are going to handle it as and, and, and government uh, if they're going to pacify it and come to the table or if they are not going to they, we run the risk that uh, that there might be a wider dissent within the country Okay, I would like to get your perspective on uh, the young voters, on how they view the Ferlimo party. We understand Ferlimo has led the country uh, since the fight for independence from Portugal in 1975. Well, do, does the youth still connect with that legacy or are the views totally different? What we picked up, uh, we, we have a few projects and working there. I've been working there for a very long time myself. Uh, the, the, uh, the young people are very disconnected. Uh, with uh, the legacy of, of 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 the of the battle against the Portuguese, they were most of them were born after that, and and to them, as like I have said, it is bread and butter stuff that is that is concerning them. They want jobs, they want education, they want they want services that are not uh, on on the ground, and uh, we see that uh, all all four of the the candidates actually focused on that where they started to promise that that they're going to change that they're going to uh, this will be job creation they will look at uh, at, at service delivery etc etc uh, for daniel chapo he had to go in that way because he couldn't write on the back of of the insurgency or or of of of, of the war because he was not there so so he had to come up with a new manifest and so did ronamo and uh, motlani was actually the guy that came up with the most uh, uh, exciting 
promises and also reachable goals that he said and so he managed to win the, the the hearts and the minds of the young people and they started to believe in him and uh, and Simongo like I said he's very localized in the Bayra area where he's got a lot of uh, support Okay. Now, uh, let's look at, we've seen police reports, reports of police using force during these protests. Now, that's similar to incidents in countries like Nigeria here, and also the one that happened in Kenya quite recently. Now, has the police handling the situation uh, concerning protests in Mozambique? Yeah, the problem that we see there is it's a very high-handed approach that they, they are following, uh, and also, uh, you know, the, co the, the, the assassinations of the dissidents. Uh, that that that's not a good uh, good sign. We uh, we see that uh, in the past they they managed to to deal with these kind of of, of uh, uh, dissent in a very decisive way with a loss of lots of life. And uh, it all depends on how the 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 opposition is going to be able to mobilize the people because you know the the the, the Mozambican police as well as the military is under strain. Uh, battling the the insurgency in 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 the north in Cabo Delgado, so so we know that they are not not very strong uh, in the rest of the country. They are very under understaffed and under resourced. So when they are uh, uh, because of that, they then resort to to high handed approach and they try to kill it uh, the situation as 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 soon as possible. Now it it all's going it's all going to depend on how the public is going to respond to that. It's going to, to, to develop in a, in a battle of attrition. Uh, are the police going to outlast the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, uh, the young people that are, that are writing? Uh, or are they going to be stronger than the police? And, and all of that will also depend on the, on the support that they get from, from Maputo. Up till now, Maputo has been very quiet about this. Mm. Okay. Mr. Els, it's been a pleasure having you. But before we let you go, we understand that uh, results are expected to be announced later this week, between Thursday and Friday. Well, with this current unrest in the country and, of course, other issues that are coming to light, do you think it would delay the announcement of results? Uh, they may. Uh, it depends how they read the situation on the ground. Uh, and also, it depends how they may manage to alter. You know, if... if, if uh, uh, Chapo, for instance, win with a very large uh, margin. Uh, of course, then the the people will, will rise up even more because they will that will give them uh, the, the 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 inclination that the things were not uh, what they supposed to be. Because we must understand that the 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 ruling party their support has dwindled, and their support is mainly amongst the amongst the older people. So so the, the young people that make up about two thirds of the of the voter poll, uh, uh, the chances are good that uh, Chapo is not going to do that well. And uh, it all depends on how they be, be able to manipulate the outcome of the votes. If it is, if it is blatant, I, 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 can, I can just think that uh, we will see some big problems. Okay. Mr. Els, thank you for joining the program today to give us those updates. We appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. So we've been speaking with Mr. William Els. He is the Senior Training Coordinator for Enact Program Institute for Security Studies. And of course, we were talking about the recent protest that have spread to Maputo, which is the capital of Mozambique. Now, this is an offshoot from the elections that held on the 9th of October. But what details would happen soon after this? Time will tell. The program continues to stay with us.